Hey guys, um, so I got a little kitty and I've had her since she was two weeks old and now she's three months old and um, I know, say hi, she's not going to say hi because she doesn't understand how it works, but she's a little greasy because I just bathed her and I put um, scented shea butter all over her and I know it sounds really weird, but it, I just don't want her to smell. Um, so that's what I've been doing and you know it actually stops her from licking a lot and I'm able to brush her and get all that fur off um, I love her so much she's just so cute and um, so yeah so I'm gonna be making some videos about cats going forward um, and the boxes and things that I get for her for any of you guys that have cats um, I'm probably not gonna keep her for long because I'm not allowed to um, <laughs> have her around for, for too long but um but I, I can't keep her temporarily the reason I got her is because I have really bad allergies uh, well the reason I got her is because I needed something to love so if you're out there and you need something to love trust me a cat is such a great tool um, I had so much love to give and it's like nobody was accepting it properly um, and you know people were like taking advantage of me and I was kind of over it so I decided I'm you know a pet can't really take advantage of you other than the fact that it wants to eat all the time um, so I got the cat um, and I had really bad allergies to cats, dogs, anything with fur. And ever since I got her, nothing, it's all gone. Um, so I was actually watching this video, uh, called Ask Teal, T-E-A-L. Um, and she was talking about allergies and she said allergies are trauma. And that trauma becomes a reaction in the body. So when something happened to you when you were younger, whatever was around at that time became the allergy. So you really don't have allergies. It's not a, a physiological thing. It's a psychological thing. And I thought that was interesting because physiologically, you would think that I would be allergic to cats. I mean, it took about six weeks before my allergies went away. So I took allergy pills every single day. I took a pet allergy, which is um, dog, cat, hair. Wait, dog, cat, rabbit, and horse hair and gerbil hair like and they made a pill out of it and then you eat it every day so it kind of makes your body used to it so you're ingesting it so your body's getting more comfortable with it one of my clients who's very wealthy said that her husband used to take vitamin b6 because her mother told her to tell her husband and it completely killed the allergy and it did so vitamin b6 if you don't have that in your system i would definitely recommend that um and then like i was with her when she was a little kid she slept with me every night now she doesn't because she's, sh she's shedding like crazy and i don't really want her and the hair in my room so she's just like kitchen and living room bound right now um but I do let her in my room like you just saw her um every now and then just because it's like her comfort zone um but I don't let her sleep with me um come here she's so cute she's just watching me make this video she's so cute um she's a tuxedo cat as you saw um and she's just the light of my life right now. She's the reason I'm happy and things are happening, I think, is because I have so much love to give. And when I come home, she's just so happy to see me. Um, and then, like, right now, I'm not spending time with her. So she's like, why aren't you spending time with me? Hello, am I here? She teaches me to be present um, and be fully aware of the time that I'm spending with somebody. Um, and it, it's just nice. It's nice to have something around the house. Like, I can't wait to have a boyfriend again <laughs> you know it, I want to like him so I want to make sure it's someone that I'm compatible with um but it would be, you know it's going to be really nice to have somebody to come home to every day you know uh, that's a human that can like hug me touch me adore me and talk to you know me so we could talk about each other's days and I can hug and adore them and love them and whatnot um but yeah so she's teaching me to love again uh, so the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is in case you're going through any of these things, you know, a pet really is a great tool. Um, but the interesting thing is when I went to get my hair done today, uh, the lady at the, be the beauty salon was like, you don't need a pet, you need a baby. And I'm like, I know, but I'm not going to have a baby with someone that is not going to stick around to help me take care of the baby because I just can't do it by myself. And then, you know, continue to do the things that I need to do, which just doesn't make sense. And I don't like that. I think there's like a, a way to things, you know, and, and I, um, I want to give a shout out to all the single moms out there. Like, it's hard. I know it's hard. I grew up with a single mom, and that's why I know I don't want to do it. <laughs> I was like, I'm positive. I don't want to be a single mom. So I'd rather wait, you know, and everyone's like, just get pregnant, have a baby, and then you'll figure it out later. And I'm like, I probably would find a guy because guys like to take care of women, and they like needy women. They say they don't, but they do. So it's like, if I'm a single mom, it's kind of actually more attractive than me being a single woman without a kid go figure um 
but yeah so I just thought it was interesting because it's like I did want a baby but I don't have anybody <laughs> to have a baby with uh so I'm I have a cat <laughs> and it's doing everything that I need it to do but yeah there is that maternal clock that's like you know smacking me in the face saying hello and I'm just like hey help me <laughs> so we'll see what the universe has in store but I have a very strong feeling that whoever this person is they're like God is preparing them for me and when they come into my life I'm gonna they're gonna be just as happy to meet me as I am to meet them because I've been waiting so long for them and I feel like they've been waiting so long for me that when we meet it's gonna be like where have you been whatever let's not talk about it like let's just get to it like let's just go travel the world and let's make our dreams come true and I'll support you and you support me and then if the baby comes and there is a baby then we'll both work on it together um that'd be cool but I speak it so that it can happen so I'm sharing it with you guys uh other than that life is good um opportunities are popping up left and right and it's kind of like I'm in I'm I'm confused you know and I got a mentor which I'm very grateful for it was my aunt she's very successful um unbelievably successful crazy how successful she is and, <laughs> and I'm just like whoa um but I didn't want to bother her or ask her for anything until I was on the right path and now that I am I am spending more time with her we're networking together and she's helping me open the doors that I needed to get ahead um the skincare line is coming I just need it to be okay because I know somebody had asked me about it and I'm gonna start promoting it um very soon but that's just like, you know, small batches. I'm not doing it like a full-fledged blown up business. It's just my love going into the product and then you guys can try it. And if you love it, then maybe, maybe it will become something big. But I'm really more focused on um, my school to teach people how to do what I do, which is like putting up the shelves and, um, you know, mounting TVs and just handy stuff around the house. And um, that, that little business that I was working on, you're so cute and um I love my cat I really do and come here okay and the intimacy school that's really what I'm working on and then of course the let me school your brand which is just me talking about everything I'm doing I'm just you know um documenting it so you guys can see it uh, and then I'm gonna start working on my documentaries uh, after that because if you ask me what I want to do honestly the only thing I want to do is dance and make my documentaries and edit them and share the information that I acquire with the world in a, a format that makes sense. Like right now, this is what I'm doing because it's the only way I know how to do it. But once I get my Mac and I'm, and I'm able to edit videos and I'm able to do things a little bit differently, um, I'm gonna do that. I know I have to change locations every now and then because right now I'm just working out of my room. Um, but this is what's going on. And I'm trying to share that with you guys as I progress because they say it's better to start um, and get the ball rolling than it is to wait for the perfect moment and I'm not waiting for the perfect moment I'm just going for it and hoping and praying that it works out <laughs> That's all you can do is take a leap of faith and Hope that like your cat you land on your toes But um, yes, getcha. I Just wanted her to come up so that she could say bye. Look 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 baby baby look, look, look. She's not gonna look there you go Hi oh, You're not used to the camera yet. Oh my god Sorry, I'm sorry. But um yeah, she's 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 a cutie. She is a cutie. Um lands right on her feet. What can I say? Oh, and one more thing. Cats, they don't have nine lives. They have nine personalities. Like they're nine totally different people. And it's like interesting because if you can learn to deal with a cat and just chill out and relax, because that's what really what they're there for, is it she's so cute. They teach you to just calm down and be like you know, like they walk on stuff and they break it and you're just like, I really just can't, I just can't even get pissed. I'm just so tired. Like I don't even... And it teaches you how to be in a relationship because when you're in a relationship, like if you're um, an A personality or you're somewhat controlling, like everything bothers you, right? But when you have a cat, you learn that like, whatever, like just shut the door. Like I don't even care. Like we'll fix it later. We'll clean that up. Like, like you're just chill like and the cat has really taught me to just chill out you cannot control everything let it be if you love the cat you just have to accept them for who they are and like just do you want the cat or not because I have options I can give the cat away I can put it outside you know everybody's like don't do that um you know I can donate it to the ASPCA like there's so many things that you could do I would never do that I would give it to somebody probably my mom or my sister um but 
it just, it, she's really just taught me to just like, I can't control anything. I can't control her. She's a cat. You know, the most I can do is pick her up even if she doesn't want to be picked up. But at, now she's like gotten so used to it that she's like, oh God, let me just let her like hold me, hug me and kiss me. And then she'll put me down at some point. <laughs> so I trained her. <laughs> Teaches you how to train people too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love my cat. She's like the best thing that happened to me. She's three, almost four months old now. Um, and she's a blessing. I got her on Craigslist and I love her. So just wanted to share that with you guys. If you're, if you need to learn to relax and chill out, I would get a cat. Yeah. In the first couple of weeks, I almost lost my mind and I was like, that's it. I'm getting rid of her. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then finally, like every day I was like, I would come home and she would just wait for me at the door. And like my roommates would tell me, they'd be like, she like hears you from like when you park your car. She like hears, she knows the sound of your car. And then she runs from wherever she is in the house and she just waits at the door for me. And then when I open the door, she's like the first thing I see and she's just like, you know, like she was waiting for me to come home all day. It was so cute, you know what I mean? So it's like, and they're just like, she knew you were coming. Like she knew before we even knew, before you put the key in the front door downstairs, she was already running to the door. I was like, you're so cute, I love her. Um, so yeah, it's a, a beautiful relationship, which is why I understand now why people would cry if their cats died. Because before I used to be like, it's a pet, get over it, you know? Because I didn't understand that relationship, but now I'm starting to get it. Um, even my sister, every time she comes over, she's like, can I see the cat? Can I hold her? Can I keep her? Oh my God. You know, like my sister, oh, I would love to give it to my sister because she would love that cat to pieces. Um, and I'm sure that it would, you know, help her too. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll get my cat pregnant and give my sister kittens. No, I'm, I'm going to get her spayed in a week. And the progress with the cat, uh, you'll see with that. But anyway, that's a lot of talking. Gotta go. Love you guys. Bye.